This is this is a dream moment, isn't it, Kirisha? So many startups and so many Indians around the world who must have seen you yesterday and wondered, okay, this is an amazing story. Uh, where did it begin? So tell our viewers, you know, because when you first started out, I remember you you picked Chennai. A lot of people were skeptical about that. Uh, a lot of there were a lot of challenges about a decade ago. The ecosystem wasn't as conducive. You probably had the same struggles as so many founders about convincing investors uh, that you were on the right track. Share with us the early days. Sure, uh, the story of Freshworks starts in uh, 2009. It's really uh, about a broken TV and the poor customer service experience that I had with the shipping company that refused to pay my insurance claim. And it took me almost six months of back and forth emailing and, and calling their uh, customer service team. And finally, uh, when I took them, when I wrote about my experience online in a forum, the president of the company uh, came and apologized and processed the uh, refund. So you have to understand that this was early 2010 when this happened in my life and Twitter and Facebook were not so big in those days. So the aha moment for me was, hey, the rise of social media is shifting the power from the hands of the company to the hands of the consumer. And uh, that's how I got the idea to build a fresh help desk. And that's why the company and the first product was called Fresh Desk at the time, where we thought we could help businesses listen to customer in like, problems, not just via phone and email, but also on online social media like Twitter and Facebook. So that's how we started. Today, Freshdesk is our largest product. Uh, we can help businesses engage with their customers across any channel, WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or Instagram. So today's customers want support wherever they are, and we help businesses deliver that support. So I think that's, that's the customer service journey with which we started. And I think um, as any startup, the, the whole journey of a founder is uh, fighting against all odds, right? And Chennai, I, I chose Chennai because that's where I'm from. So you want to uh, start from home. And, and uh, but Chennai wasn't uh, really the startup ecosystem or didn't have the startup ecosystem in 2010. And, and uh, so people advised me to move to Bangalore because you get the talent there or move to Silicon Valley after a few years because uh, uh, you can't build it from India. But I think uh, we, believed in our products and we uh, believe that if you can build products that customers love to use, uh, we could just keep growing. And then that's what happened. We had 100 customers in 100 days and 200 customers in 200 days. So even before we got the first million dollars of VC funding, I think our customers uh, coming in and really um, global customers, these are small customers, but global customers coming from all around the world, really buying our products gave us the confidence that we could just go on.